here's where the cruise ships normally sit and and then uh, here where these souvenir shops are is that where the cruise ship people come out sure mm. the expensive souvenirs um it's all china crap <laughs> but several in here are actually handmade local craft because oh, okay. that's oh. what these were designed for oh, okay. for local handmade artisans sure because yeah. everybody's getting so sick and tired of the of the the china shit mm -hmm. yep. sorry part of my french that uh, uh that aruba said no we want to have some uh, uh some artisans yeah, there yeah that's nice this building is the main bus terminal walking from us till here is 15 minutes mm. oh. So here is where the downtown shopping, dining, eating, mm -hmm. everything is. If you like snack trucks, local food, on the evening there is always one here. Oh, La Candela. I love it. Ooh. Yeah. Awesome sangrienas, blood sausage. So yeah, all that China stuff is there. Just imprinted a ruba on it and uh, there you go, that's it. <laughs> so here the paddock is a nice place to sit. And then especially where those red umbrellas are, mm -hmm. because that's that's a uh, waterfront. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is the real submarine that goes down 150 feet. Oh. So if you ever wanted to see what it is to go diving, that it is not cheap, but it is uh, it is beautiful. Mm -hmm. okay. Lucy's Mexican American with uh, Taco Tuesdays, and then two dollar beef and chicken tacos, and I think four dollar margaritas. Oh, Taco cool. Tuesdays. Yeah. And here is our government building on the left. We do not have two separate houses like you have in the US. We have everything here. Oh. We don't have a lower house and a higher house. Island is the small flat. Right. Yeah. So is this the one that they call Ar Aruba Town Hall? Uh, Aruba Town Hall is actually uh, behind it. Oh, okay. Because yeah. that's what I read a lot. This, yeah, this is Parliament. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this mall, it is private property. It belongs to the Renaissance. And this is a 25 minute walk from us. Okay. Nearby the plaza. Plaza? Plaza. So there's a Cuban restaurant there. There's a Mexican here. This one is actually owned by Mexicans. That one is actually owned by Americans there, Lucy's. Mm, okay. So from here you can go fishing. Um, of course, we need to have a Starbucks. A casino here. Is a fishing license required here? Nope. No. Okay. Nice. Here is uh, five o'clock somewhere from uh, Jimmy Buffett bar. Sure. Mm -hmm. Good burgers, simple stuff. Mm -hmm. Esperanto is a Middle Eastern sports bar. Huang mm. Xiong Wang here is a Dutch style Chinese restaurant. Mm. Here, Poke Ono is sushi, poke bowls, and baos. And then every day, one uh, of the items in each section is at 40% off. Oh. oh my god, how the hell did you get in there? Okay, Dutch pancake house. Very popular for breakfast, as okay. you can see. Right. If you don't want to wait in line, be here before nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. mm. Next to it is uh, the Dutch bistro called the Plaza. Mm -hmm. And then on the corner there is Casa Tua, which is a middle Mediterranean restaurant. Oh. Great paella, great pizzas. Mm. And then the pizzas are the thin, thin crust ones. Right. I like thin crust. Then uh, next to it is Ricardo, which is a smokehouse. I have not personally tried it yet. But I heard great things about it. Hmm. Then, you're Filipino? Yeah. Como esta acá? Ah, mabote. Mabote, na? <laughs> you're also interested in a Filipino restaurant, or not? Don't or, tell me there's a Filipino restaurant in here. <laughs> there is an awful lot of Filipinos on the island. Are you serious? An awful lot. Yeah. Wow. They came here in the 60s. Most of them were in Lebanon or in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. And when in Lebanon the war broke out, the rich are Christian families, a lot of them moved here mm -hmm. and brought their Filipino uh, people with them. Oh. So there's a very large Filipino contingency. Oh, wow. Okay. Fort Zauman, every Tuesday, welcome to Aruba Festival with, li with the local music. Mm -hmm. That yellow building there, that is authentic um, 
Italian, Northern Italian restaurant. Mm. No, but if you go to any restaurants on the island, there will be Filipinos everywhere. Oh, wow. Either in the kitchen or in the floor, bus boys, waiters, there are an awful lot of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. I used to work in a restaurant called Madame Jeanette, and I think we had about 30 of them there. <laughs> That's also where I, where I learned it a little bit. And then, of course, the bad words. Yeah. <laughs> Normally, people like, ah, this is the bad word first. Correct. <laughs> yep. Yeah, when they started cursing at each other. Okay. Yep, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> so then, let me show you where that is. Because uh, they always we, we, uh, would bring uh, food, so I tried a lot of it, mm -hmm. except the duck eggs. Those I have never tried, no. and I'm not planning on. No, nor but, I. No, <laughs> but yeah. So this is the Renaissance Mall. Here is in the casino that's open 24/7, and here is also the luxury mall downstairs, with uh, Gucci, Prada, Louis Vuitton, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. We'll keep you out of that. <laughs> <laughs> if you go to the casino and win, you can go there. Well, there you, there you go. go. So, Jumanji, wood fire grill, great food, also a lot of uh, vegetarian and vegan options. And then this is Havenstraat, Harbor Street. So, here is a little town square. There's a nice bar on it, if it's still open, that is. So, it looks open. Oh, nice. I saw a lot of this in video. Yeah. Yeah, this is the downtown version. Oh, okay. Rainbow souvenir shops. And then here on the first floor is the Filipino restaurant, Kambal. Nice. Kambal means twin. Twin? Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah. That I didn't know. <laughs> but it is basically uh, the local Filipinos that go there, and a lot of them work on cruise ships. Mm, so when there are cruise ships in town, they go they also go there. there. Sure. Stuck yeah. up their stuff, I'm sure. Correct. <laughs> and, and use the free Wi Fi. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then we're back here on the main road. So behind this pink uh, shopping mall is Kambal. Okay. And I think they also have a lot of kar karaoke nights there. <laughs> because that I've learned, they love karaoke. Yep. That they do. Yep. All hours of the night. Oh, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is then the bus stop again. So then you have a general idea of where we are again. Okay. okay. shops are there um, so this tram runs free of charge mm. you can take it it goes to the end of the main street and then it comes back mm. anchor fish is local seafood and then here around this corner here are a lot of food trucks not a Filipino one but there is Middle Eastern there's Dominican uh, Dominican here local don't know what this is. Oh yeah, here, Barroja Fiesta, Filipino. Oh yeah. Indonesian. Oh my god, there's um, one. <laughs> oh yeah, they're I everywhere. See that. <laughs> they're everywhere. <laughs> yeah, but they generally don't go to the foreground. They generally like to stay in the background. station is here I hope you I hope you don't need it <laughs> so another Dominican we have on the island about 120 different 120,000 people with about 120 different nationalities <laughs> we got it from all over the world sure and then here is also like a flea market in the back for all the yeah okay. souvenir junk yeah. not a lot of people have been to Aruba but everybody has heard of it correct but where are you from in the U.S.? Wisconsin. 
Okay, Wisconsin we do have also, but not as many. The majority what we have is Northeast. Okay. Oh. Yep. New York, Boston area, yep. Toronto. Yep. That is what we have a lot of. Um, when this place is open, this black truck, mm -hmm. that's the best barbecue joint on the island. Oh. Mm, okay. So yeah, so when you go, when you from us go to downtown, you take this one. This is a one-way road going towards us, mm -hmm. but walking or biking, nobody cares. Right. Go either way. The coffee table is a local lunch place with a great lunch for like eleven, twelve dollars. Mm. Non-touristy. Mm -hmm. Most guests that stay with us prefer to stay away from the touristy areas. Mm -hmm. They might go visit it, yep. but then retrieve back uh, to their quiet place by us. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That was what they're doing when you go eat, you know, we try to find something local because yeah. I, that's what I would like. <laughs> yeah. No, and by us, you do not need a car. Where you were, I would strongly advise getting a car to go somewhere or discover stuff. But right. Yeah. Yeah. By us, nah. Take the bike, take the bus, and you're good to go. So this uh, this building here, this great building, is Ritz. It's a takeout restaurant. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Great food and cheap. And especially they have soft serve ice cream, which is what they're famous for. Mm -hmm. The soft serve ice cream is awesome. Mm -hmm. But take out only. Right. And then especially their lunches are basically full meals that you then take out. You guys care for sushi? I love sushi. She does, I don't. <laughs> okay. Would you go there if they had other stuff? Sure. Okay. So, there is a low purple wall there. Yep. That's where Tatami is. And Tatami is a great sushi place. Mm -hmm. um, for you, then they have a lot of stuff. For you, then basically you say, can, we, can you make me something with chicken? And then they go, okay, we'll make something with chicken. So mm -hmm. they basically will work with you. Oh. You tell them what you like or what you don't like. Oh yeah, we'll make you something. Sure. So that works. You guys also care for good wine? Okay, across the street from the sushi place, that red building there on the end, mm -hmm. that's the wine room. Mm -hmm. It's like a lounge, comfortable chairs with sofa, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Awesome wines by the glass. Mm -hmm. Great service, owner is a complete wine nut. Mm -hmm. Loves it, loves it, loves it. Mm -hmm. And then of course we have your American Fair with Domino's, and then on the other corner, Cinnabon, Carvel and Wendy's. Yeah. Yeah. We stay away from stuff like that, because. I we can eat that anytime. But yeah. just so you know, yep. it's there. Yep. Yep. And then to go to us, you would go here, go straight, and then cross it where that white truck is. Yeah, then you would cross through here, a little bit over this dirt patch, oh, okay. and then we are kitty corner behind this building. So here on the corner, DA is uh, like a CBS or a Walgreens, but without medication, oh. without an RX department. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. But most of the stuff you can also get in the supermarket. Mm 